If you are a busy person or you just like one pot dishes, quick meals, but are still full of nutrients, this is a perfect dish for you. And one reason why my family and myself love Asian inspired dishes so much is that they're so versatile. You can add any type of vegetables to it, whether it's broccoli, peppers, corn, carrots, the possibilities are endless. You can add whatever flavor sauce that you want, whether it's a homemade sauce or a store-bought sauce. I really love these dishes, but this one in particular, I feel like this is probably in the top tier family. Like this is one of our favorite ones. <laughs> So when it comes to soy curls, they are very versatile, but when you get them, they are dehydrated. So they're really crispy. What I like to do is when I rehydrate them, the water that I put them in, I like to either use whatever flavor I'm mimicking, whether it's a vegan chicken bouillon or a vegan beef bouillon or vegan pork flavors, or child just, I just want to season it up and there's no particular meat flavor that I'm trying to get. That's the versatility when it comes to soy curls. So that's what you're gonna need for this dish. You will also need ribbon noodles. Now these are rice ribbon noodles. I don't remember the actual brand. You can find them at any Asian market. That's where I found mine. So any Asian market, get your selected veggies. I used a discounted stir fry bag of veggies that I got from the grocery store. That was it. And this particular blend had a sauce packet in it. It was like a chili garlic sauce. And it worked out perfectly because it just left less things for me to have to worry about. And all I had to do was worry about seasoning it. Okay, yeah. So the soy curls, I got them rehydrated and the vegan seasoning that I wanted. And I just heated a skillet up. And I added a little bit of oil of my choosing. Use whatever oil you like to use and I use whatever oil I use. And I added it to the skillet and as it was starting to heat up in the skillet, I went ahead and sliced up some onions, all of my veggies, but I added the onions first. And then after I added the onions, I sauteed that a little bit longer. Yeah. And I sauteed it with the onions in it. And as you can see, it started browning really well. And then I added some chopped garlic. Now I kind of minced it up, so I wouldn't say chopped garlic. However you like your garlic to be, I like mine fresh. I feel like the flavor is so much better. Then I added some vegan butter and I cooked that through it. I use the butter because I feel like it helps penetrate the soy curls and it helps the flavors come out. And then I just went ahead and I got my bell pepper ready and I added it to the skillet. And then I cooked that through really well. So the vegan chicken bouillon that I use is not even promoted as being vegan. It's just one of those accidentally vegan items. But just check out your Asian markets and look at the ingredients because a lot of their cultural dishes don't really require actual chicken flavoring like the stock and the actual powdered animal. You don't need that. It's just imitation. And then after I added my spices in, I put in some chunky garlic paste. It has to be the chunky garlic paste. When you go to the grocery store, Garlic paste, certain brands are not vegan. They put milk in them, child. I don't know why, but they do. You can look to be sure. Always look for yourself. Always read the labels and ingredients. Because I don't want y'all saying pineapple vegan say this and this. Because I don't know what your store has. So after I added my garlic, chunky garlic paste, I went ahead and I mixed it through. And then I added some liquid aminos. And I just started sauteing the vegan soy curls, you know, thoroughly. Cook them how you want them to be cooked. I added more seasoning because I felt like in my heart that I just needed some more. So after you finish it and put it on the baking dish, bake it on 350. I only baked it for maybe like 15 or 20 minutes. There's really no designated time. Just cook it to your desired doneness. If you want it crispy, make it crispy. If you want it just a little soft, make it a little soft. Next, I went ahead and I did my vegetable stir fry. Now remember I got that discounted bag. There's no special brand. Get whatever veggies you want. I just got this because it was on sale and it was convenient for me. I added a tiny bit of sesame oil to my skillet and then I just put the veggies in there. And then I added more chopped onions and more minced garlic because I did extra in the beginning because I knew I was going to want to add more to my vegetables. 
and then I just saute my vegetables up to my desired doneness. Now when it comes to my vegetables, I don't like them to be super soggy, especially if I'm gonna cook them more. But I did add some chunky ginger to the vegetables because I just love the way ginger tastes, which is so funny because before I was vegan, I could not stand ginger, but I love it now. I literally eat pickled ginger by itself. So good. Did you subscribe to my channel? Cause y'all, I feel like if you're here with friends and I know that you like me cause you're still watching. So go ahead and subscribe if you didn't friend. Cause I want you around. And then while you doing that, click the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos, best friend. Dang. Tell your friends and we all can be friends. And we can just hang out every weekend. I'm just playing. Okay, let's get back to the video. Okay, so I did add some water to my pot. I ain't dirty, y'all. I had just used this for something else. But then, as you can see, I added more vegan chicken bouillon to that water because you got to season everything, everything. And then I added in my ribbon noodles. And as I said earlier, I don't remember what brand, but it does not matter what brand. Now I cooked them only until they were slightly al dente. I didn't want them too soft because I knew I was gonna cook them again. And then I strained my noodles. So I used the colander and I did strain them because I wanted a little bit of that noodle water because it's a little starchy and it makes the food taste really good. And then after I strained the noodles, I added them back to the pot. A tiny bit more sesame oil. And then I added some chili garlic oil, you know, with the little crisp in it. <sighs> so good. And then I added a tiny bit more ginger paste, the chunky ginger paste. And then a little flavor packet that came with my noodles. You don't have to do this, but it was vegan. And it had like the dried onions and all that stuff in there. So I just added it to that. Now, after I got those noodles completely slathered in the chili garlic oil and I mixed all them spices and garlic and ginger paste that I put in there, I added my vegan soy curls back in there because they were to my desired doneness. You see how good they look. They was all brown and delectable and seasoned up because we season our food around here. If you don't season your food, you shouldn't be on this page. And then after I added that back in there, I added my sauce packet that came with the veggie stir fry and it was like a garlic ginger sauce packet all i know is it was good very good so after i added that sauce packet to the noodles y'all i mixed them up real good got them real coated and mixed in with the soy curls and then i added my veggies back they ate the whole pot and now i gotta make it I hope you liked this video, and like I said earlier, if you do, give it a thumbs up. It's just one button, just, and then click the bell, ding, and then, hey, here I am. But I'll holler at y'all later. Let me go eat some food. I actually think I'm about to make that stir fry, because it, like, watching myself make it and then talking about, and then talking about it. <laughs>